All right, joining me now is Democratic uh, California Congresswoman Norma Torres. She was part of the delegation who toured the Carrizo Spring Influx Care Facility behind me yesterday, where migrant children are currently being housed. Congresswoman, thank you so much uh, for your time. Uh, let's go back to the news conference for a moment. Towards the end of that press briefing, uh, President Biden was asked when his promise of improved border conditions would be fulfilled. And he said that they will get better uh, quickly or at least, you know, quote, hear of some of the people leaving, in, in essence, meaning about people leaving these facilities. How long are you willing to give the Biden administration to address the overcrowding and the bottlenecks uh, in processing that you saw firsthand yesterday? Well, it's good to be with you um, today, Eamon, and yesterday um, at the facility uh, touring. And I must say that while I tour this facility, um, I did not see clusters of overcrowding. I did not see the conditions that I expected to see that I have seen previously under the Trump administration. Um, and what is happening here at our southern border, it is absolutely a crisis, but we cannot be focused on treating a symptom when we know that the cause is down in the region, in the Northern Triangle region. I will hold this administration accountable for that. I will hold the previous administration accountable for that. And I will go as far back as the Obama administration. Look, President Trump did us no favors when he decided to turn his back at the focus of the deep-rooted cause of migration. And that is you have a president in Honduras who is a narco uh, president who is more interested in utilizing the military that we have trained, by the way, against the, the young people um, and to protect the, the narco traffickers uh, rather than helping to improve conditions in the region. In Guatemala and in, in El Salvador, we have strong men that again are more interested in enriching themselves. That is the cause that we need to remain focused on dealing with them. The greatest resource of these countries is not the beautiful beaches or the Mayan ruins or the jungles. The greatest resource in these countries are the people, the young people that we are seeing at our southern border. And I have to um, say that I, um, I am very grateful for President Biden uh, recognizing the humanity of these young children that are being forced to flee these horrible, deplorable conditions in the Northern Triangle. You brought up a really important point, which was about the current countries, the northern uh, Northern Triangle countries and what is currently going on in those uh, countries that has made it possible for people to leave by the thousands to get here for a better quality of life. Where do you see the mistakes of past American administrations uh, in actually destabilizing those countries and destabilizing their economies to make sure that we as a country and currently the new administration not repeat those mistakes uh, in making sure that those countries actually have good governance, good economies where people want to stay in their countries? I work very closely um, with former Vice President Biden under the Obama administration the last two years. Uh, we were setting up uh, shelters in the region. We were um, putting together partner countries to help us deal with the refugee crisis. Everyone was agreeing to a, a, a plan to help deal with the issue. At the same time, we were working with the UN and 13 other partner countries to fund specialized units, uh, investigators to uh, deal with very, very um, uh, deep-rooted uh, issues of public corruption involving um, the heads of states, um, the mem members of Congress that were working against the population. But the Trump administration decided that it was more, it was a bigger priority to force third um, uh, country agreements with these countries and allow them to continue uh, to, to be the people that they are. And as a result, we saw the fall of CSIG, which, is, which was a UN organization in Guatemala, and MOTSI which was the organization in Honduras. And as a result, you know, we are seeing what we are seeing at our southern border. Again, that is a symptom of the cause that we need to address. 
President uh, Biden is now put together a group of professionals that are very knowledgeable in the region. He has tasked um, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris um, to lead and, and, and head you know, this group of professionals. And I am one that I am committed um, and will hold them accountable for ensuring that no U.S. tax dollars are sent to the region to continue to support these narco governments and strong men that are leading and that are the cause of these children coming north. All right, California Congresswoman Norma Torres, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.